Hello and welcome to Section 1 of Module 4, Data Development in the PACE IT Program. I'm Chan Bovey, one of your instructors. In Section 1 of Module 4, we have three primary learning competencies. We want to understand the core concepts of relational database theory. We want to know how to elicit information requirements using appropriate techniques to do so. And we want to design data models with appropriate components. The data models will be designed on the information requirements we elicit. So we'll cover basic definitions and key concepts. We'll talk about some core principles and guideline activities. We'll talk about areas of study. These will be the questions that you should be able to answer. And then primary takeaways from this section. Some basic definitions and key concepts we'll cover in Section 1 of Module 4 will be relational theory as proposed by Professor Codd in 1970, data modeling levels of detail, conceptual, logical, and physical, techniques to gather information requirements, we'll cover the noun recognition technique, which is widely used, and then talk about data model components, entities, relationships, and attributes. The core principles and guideline activities that we will address in Section 1 of Module 4 will be to create data models at the appropriate level of detail for the audience you'll be serving and using the business information requirements you've gathered as the basis for your data models. The areas of study for Section 1, Module 4, these are the questions you should be able to answer when you're finished with this module. What are the steps for identifying information requirements? Why are there different levels in, of detail in conceptual, logical, and physical data models? What are the types of relationships? What are primary and foreign keys? And what is the purpose of a primary key in a relation? Additional questions you should also be able to answer at the end of the module. How does a foreign key link a many-side relation to a related row and its one-side entity? What is referential integrity? What is domain integrity? What types of business rules can be applied to attributes? And what are two types of business rule constraints? The primary takeaways for Section 1 of Module 4, that entities represent things about which we store data in the hopes of turning it into information. Attributes hold the chunks of data about an entity. Entities can be related in a one-to-one, -one, one-to-many, or many-to-many -many manner. Each entity should be about a single theme. Normalizing ensures that an entity will be about a single theme and minimizes the risk of data anomalies. Using noun recognition technique allows for discovery of entities and attributes in a structured manner.